Welcome back to a new video guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Final Cut Pro 10's new feature which is Auto Track. Uh, first thing to make sure is that you're in Final Cut Pro version 10.6. So make sure you're that. Okay, first step is to drag and drop your clip onto the timeline. And cut it where you want the clip to end. So we'll end it right there. And to activate auto track, you can do it in two ways. First, um, you can just go ahead and select a title, an image, or an effect that you want to use. Drag it on top of your video here and see. Funka Proton automatically selects a subject for you. But let's say you want to track a specific object. We want to track this house here. But you see Funka Proton is not detecting the house. So the other step that you can do is under your video inspector you go all the way down and you'll see this option here trackers just click on the plus sign and you'll get this grid and so this is the tracking um, box that we can use to track a specific object you can adjust its shape its size and yeah and you can just put it on top of your subject so we want to track this house here so for this one i think i'll start tracking the roof once you're happy with that just click here on analyze and Falca pro 10 will automatically analyze the image for you tracking the area that you want to track okay once that's done analyzing you can then select the text that you want to use the image or the effect drag it on top of your clip and with the transform tool selected right here You'll see this drop down arrow just click on that and select object track now if you don't want to get confused with the tr which tracking you're using go select your clip again and under here instead of object track you can rename it to how whatever you want to name it to so let's say we can name it to house track so we know it's tracking the house select that and now we can resize our text and place it wherever we want for this one we're going to place it on top of the house and see how that looks okay that looks like it's tracking pretty good but we're not done yet let's say you want to use this text and put the address of the home and so right now it's tracking both the position and the rotation but if you don't want the rotation to be tracked you can select with the title selected go under the video inspector again and you can click on this box right here beside the hide under transform and um, yeah you can just uncheck the rotation and you see how that looks For this specific clip, I think we'll keep the rotation checked. Yeah, it looks a lot better like that. And then what you can do is also go under distort and just kind of follow the shape uh, the, or the position of the house. Almost like it's on top of the house right there. Okay, I think I'm happy like that done and see how that looks so yeah you can use this feature to show the address of a property or home okay so we have another clip here this is actually um, a town center that's uh, nearby that house that I showed you if the um, real estate agent wants you to show some amenities around the area of the property you can use auto track feature to add text or images on your clip so same thing, we're gonna go here. We're gonna, again, we're gonna select trackers, click the plus sign. And I think I wanna put a track on this white structure here. So again, contrast helps Funka Pro track an object a lot better. Click analyze. And you can already see I Funka Pro tracking that white structure there. So you can either put, and like again, text or um, a logo or an image on top of your clip so let's say I want to 
put the H&M logo on top of it. Let's go on top. I'm going to go resize it. And I'll place it on top of the structure. Down arrow, object track. Again, if you want to rename it, go down at the bottom, double click so you don't confuse yourself. And go on mall track. Now here, see mall track, select that and it's gonna apply the tracking onto our logo. Yeah, like that. And since this clip is pushing in, that means the structure that we're analyzing is getting bigger also. What we can do is with the logo selected, you can go here um, under video inspector, we're gonna select this box again. So with the position, rotation, we're also gonna check on scale. It does uh, this funky thing where it shrinks um, the image or the text. So what you can just do is make it bigger again. So let's check how it looks. That looks a lot better. So yeah, you can do it with a logo or if you want to do it with a text, I'll quickly show you that. So we'll delete that. We'll go under text. You can add the basic text. Yeah, basic. So this uh, town center is called High Street. Select the font you want. Position it on top or wherever you want, on the side, on top, wherever you want. And we're gonna apply the tracking tool on it. Again, I wanna activate the scale and uncheck the rotation. And then just resize it again. That looks good. Okay, so if you wanna, again, distort your image, you can do that. Just so it matches the position of the object that you're tracking. So there you go, guys. Just a few ideas of how you can use AutoTrack on your next real estate video project. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.